Let's talk about what volume is. You can tell us a nice little definition of what volume is, but no, I'm not going to speak in the answer. A little bit more specific than that. Like how, do, how do we measure that? So we've got to measure a number of things in uh, a measure of uh, cubic inches or something. Getting close, you got a little too specific. We're counting out it. What? Units. 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 Cubes. Okay, cubes. We were dancing around it. All right. We're counting up cubes. Not circles. Not spheres, right? And not just general rectangular, any measurement goes, boxes, right? Nice, <coughs> uniform, one by one by one cubes. Does that make sense? Yep. How many of those fit in there? Let's figure it out. Uh, let's look at this box here, because I don't think I'm surprising anybody by saying this solid right here is made of this solid and this solid. Is anybody surprised by that? And to find the volume of the whole thing, we'd have to take the volume of this <coughs> and the volume of this. And do what with those two volumes? Add them together. together. We all saw that coming. Okay, so let's figure out how many cubes fit in there. First, by looking at the bottom of this box. At the bottom of this box, uh, I can fit one, you know, there's a measurement of three across this way and two this way, right? Three this way. This way. Six what? Cubes. Those don't look like cubes to me. Squares. Six squares. Okay, there's six squares. All right. So if you just did three times two times four, I'm just breaking down like why that works. All right. Let's take the example of a three times two. Well, that just tells me how many squares fit along the, uh, the bottom, right? Or even the top if we wanted to start there. So far, so good. Six squares fit along the bottom. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's measure up one unit on the side here. I measure up one unit, then I can fill this entire three-dimensional space with a three-dimensional object. And if I were to have drawn this very well, this would be a one by one by one. <coughs> what would you call that shape? A square. Cube. cube. Yes, it's a three-dimensional square, which is a cube. All right. How many cubes can I fit along the bottom? Six. I can put six of them here. You can see there's six squares. Every square can hold a cube on top of it. And that drawing is okay. So six, or six cubes can fit along the bottom. Now, can I stack more layers yeah. of those six cubes? How yeah. many layers can Three, I fit? Four. Four layers. One, okay. two layers, three <coughs> layers, four layers. Four layers of what? Cubes. cubes. How many? Uh, How many six. cubes in each layer? Six. Six. So six layer or six cubes in a layer. Four layers of six cubes makes <coughs> how many cubes? Twenty-four cubes, right? Three times two kind of tells me how many squares I have along the bottom, and four tells me how many layers of six cubes I can fit. I could do uh, two times four first and figure out that there's eight squares there, and enough room to fit right those eight squares one, two, three times because there's three there. So any way you look at it. Kind of like finding the area and then multiplying it by that third dimension. So 24 cubes can fit inside of that shape. Okay, so we've established that 3 times 2 times 4, say the uh, length times width times height, gives me the volume. So what would be the volume of this guy over here? How do you get 6x, Aiden? Why two? Where's two coming from? Because two is the length of this. This guy here? Yeah. yeah. You know that's two because, well, it would have to be. This is two, right? It's yeah. two everywhere, two. So three times two times the mystery value x. Six x. Which we can see by six x. So if I wanted to take the volume of the right <coughs> box and the left box right, and use those to find the total volume of the entire Odd shape, how would I do that? Molly? Add them together. Add them together. So we'll take 24, we'll add 6x. 30. Greater than 30? 30? You can't do it. Well, two different things. Divide. Divide. Why am I dividing? <coughs> Just add them together. I wouldn't do any dividing. It's like if I told you, you know, here's 
37 things and you just said, oh, I'll divide it, right? Mm -hmm. it's, just the, it's just a value. It's not really equal to anything or unequal to anything. Daniela, are you going to take us a little um, further here? Add a greater than or equal to sign. So it needs to be this way? Yes. OK. And then um, do 42. So this is the total volume of the shape, of the, uh, the solid. And this is the amount that it needs to be more than. Y'all agree that's right? Is that inequality facing the right way? Yeah. The total volume needs to be greater than or equal to 42. Okay. Or equal to, so we can have that there. All right, so then we solve for x. We figure out what values can x take on. Can x be like some really huge number? No. No. Why, not? Why can't it be a really huge number? Because it has a limit. What limit does it have? It has 42 limit. Is 42 a limit of how big it can be? No. No. It's um, more, it can be 42 or more than 42. Uh, so there is a limit on x, but it's a limit on how small x can be, right? Small can't get too, or x can't get to be too small, but can it be too big? Yes. How big is too big? 43. One million. No, 43 is big. Can it be bigger than 42? Yes. Yeah. So could x be really big? Can't it be? Right? If I make x some huge, like make it a million. <coughs> don't don't think about the number exactly, but if I calculate this number, will it be bigger than 42? If that's yeah. a million? Yeah, so x is going to be like down to a, a certain point. It can't be any smaller than that, but it can be bigger. It can be as big as you want it to be. So how do we use this inequality to solve for x? Minus 24. Subtract 24 from both sides, and we get 6x is greater than or equal to 18. Then you divide by 6. Divide by 6, and you get x needs to be greater than or equal to 3. So it can be as small as three, but once it's smaller than three, well, then the volume's too small. But it could be four, it could be five, it could be six, it could be 12, it could be 300, it could be a million, it could be a bit, as big as we want it to be. All right, so as long as x is greater than or equal to three, we're in sh good shape here. Now this next one, there's a reason why it's second. It's a little more challenging. We want to find the, the surface area. Let's get rid of all of this stuff. So we're going to find the surface area. What is the surface area? Everything around the outside. Measure it in what? Square. Square. It's square. Square feet. It doesn't, uh, doesn't specify. It doesn't say inches or square squares. units. Whatever the units are, they're squares. They're one by one squares. Uh, so we need to find all, how many squares fit all the way around. There's a lot of sides, right? How many sides are there? There's a lot. Twelve? More than ten. How would you come up with twelve? Because cubes or rectangles all have six sides and they together. Well, I guess it could be eleven because... Yeah, I would say eleven. No. Yeah, eleven. Because this one, like, like you said, any rectangular prism will have six sides. So you think, oh, two rectangular prisms, 12 sides, except <coughs> this guy here and is kind of, is one. oh, and the bottom is one. Oh, yeah. oh, so we take away two. So we should have eight. Ten. Ten? Ten. Ten. Well, let's see. we got to kind of keep organized because we've got to know, uh, you know, do we, have we taken care of it? We've got, we've got to find all the sides. So as we, as we find each side, maybe I'll, Try and somehow color it in, and yeah, maybe we'll do that. So let's start uh, over here. We gotta find this left side over here, right? So actually, let's start over here because it's, it's like actual numbers. What's the area of this side? Uh, eight. 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 Uh, four times two is eight. So eight, and we found that side. Maybe I'll switch over to different colors too. How about this front side? How how big is that? Six. That is three by. Twelve. Four. Four. 12. 12. 12. 12. Well, how about this is 12. And this back here, what's this? That's 92. That's also 12. So could we add them together? 24. 24. 12 and 12 is 24. 25. Let's see. Uh, that's black. How about the base here? How many squares fit down there? Times 2, which equals 12 times 2. And this one, too. So that's six and that's six all together, that's 12. And the one over on that side is six. 
One on this side. This one's also six. And then the one on the other side would be um, um, two. Which one? Oh, this little guy here. Yeah, I, yeah don't forget about that guy. Uh, so that's a two. Now, how do you know that's two? Because it doesn't tell you how long this is. Because you take logical three, a four minus three. You got four here. You know this is three. Yeah, and it's one, one by two. two. Yeah. Okay. Now we get into the kind of tricky ones because they have X in them. So, have we found all of the ones that are whole numbers? Yeah. Six, two, okay. Uh -huh. So all of these sides, top and bottom. Oh, we have a bottom to find too. Oh, we found this bottom, so we need to find this that bottom. That one up there, up, up there will be two by four. Which one would? No, go over. Here? No, wrong way. Uh, here? No, <coughs> Yeah, right there, that would be eight. This would be eight? No, no, no. How long is this side? Eight. No, four. No, no, no. X. This is four? Oh, I see what, what was going on. It'd be X, it'd be, it yeah, must be an X two, so and then we look two sides, X four, and then see the other side. So it'd be, end up being X, this one? Oh, 16, yeah. This is two, so two X, another yeah. two X. Four X. And then you got to do the R X, so we'll get rid of this. Oh, it's 10 X. Just the top and bottom, right? Yeah, and then the other sides were 10x. 3x and 3x? No, but it's 6x, six but it's 10x all together. Well, it's not adding them together quite yet. Yeah. You got uh, 3x there, and another 3x back there. So 6. So 6x. Did we get it all? Nope. I don't think we got that back. Side. That little back Isn't slap right here. here? No. <coughs> not that back slap. This one? No. No, in the middle. Right there. The middle of both of them. That's that one. Oh, okay. The one like in between. Sir, the one we got in here. Yeah. Yes. That's not a side. Yeah, that's not on the outside. That's on the inside. So it would be part of the surface area. That's what I was telling him. Okay. That's like where they welded the two things together. So you wouldn't see that. It would count towards the surface area. Just make sure we got the front and the back, the top to bottom. We got this right side. There's a left side. Yeah. Oh. We got the left side. We got all four of these sides. We got every single side there. We got it all. We got it all. Okay. Now, that's if we add all that up, that's the total. Uh, Remember squeaking the their shoes? If we can stop it. So we add all that up. That's the total surface area. And what does Part B say about the surface area? Uh, 72 units. It needs to be what in relation to 72? Greater than 72 units. 36 plus 8, that's 44. So we've got a big, we've got this big, messy looking thing. Can we make it look less messy? Yeah, we can combine. It's 50. 52. So if we add the numbers together, we get 52. And if we add the x's together, we get 10x. Plus 10x equals greater than 72. Does it say greater than or equal to? Yes. No, it says greater than. It just says greater than. Right there. X minus 52. So minus 52. And then that equals 20. 10x. It means to be greater than 20. Then you divide by 10. Then you divide by 10. Then you get 2. X is greater than 2. two. two. So if we make sure that we keep the, uh, the volume bigger than 42 cubic units, will it automatically be a surface area of greater than 72? <coughs> the question again, repeating. If we make sure that we have an area that's greater than 42, will we automatically have a surface area that's greater than 72? No. Why not? What does x need to be so that we can be sure that the volume is greater than 42? What values of x make the volume greater than 42? Three? Three to four. Three to four. Okay. So
So if we make sure that we're at 42 units or greater on the volume, will we automatically have greater than 72 square units on the area? <coughs> Because what does x need to be in order to have greater than 72? Two. two and above. It needs to be well above two, not even two is okay. Well, we're already making it three and above, which is already bigger than two, right? So yeah, if we stay above 42, we'll automatically be bigger than 72. It couldn't, it couldn't equal two because there's no equal sign. Right. That's what you said you could have it. I think I did, but didn't he? He no. said that it could be two. You said he, or it could either be two. No, I said that. No, I did. <laughs> Going on. I was wrong once. I learned from my mistake. <laughs> now I don't be wrong anymore. Okay. Official <laughs> review. Yep. Do it then. You can review it. Yeah. Did. Hey, did you have a review if you said four or fourteen? You said fourteen. You said four. Yeah. You said, uh, I want yeah. to <laughs> really. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, you guys are chopping up a bit here to take care of this homework today. It's really the, the trick here, the catch here, is that we have maybe multiple steps. Okay? okay. So keep an eye out for problems like that. Like uh, 2x plus 5 is less than or equal to 13. It's very similar to the inequalities we just did. I'd appreciate if everybody could stop talking from here for just a minute. Listen to me. On top of this, okay, that would be a subtract from both sides and then divide situation. Right? Uh, maybe some. Uh, Do we use the distribute property I said? There you go, you need to distribute for, uh, we can really move on, so we'll do that, and maybe uh, one other thing. What do you see here, what's the little catch here? There's, uh, you gotta take one of the X's off one of the sides. Uh, we're gonna cancel the X's on one of the sides, yeah. which will then kind of Bit to the other side. It's not really what's happening, but we are canceling out on one side so that we have x is only on one side. Like, so we, how would we do that? Minus 4x. Hey, Stuart, I've got a quick point. Then that equal 2x plus 7. Why is that a 15 up there? This one? Yeah. I made it up. Yeah, yeah but why is that up there in the 13? Because of yeah, the These are yeah, three, different three different problems. Three different problems. Be all upset with you. I mean, if you were paying more attention, you might have known that. I was. And now it's a subtract and then divide situation. Okay? I don't need the worksheets. You hold on to those. I asked you to do that so that you would be prepared for today's discussion. Which you learned. Hashtag goat. Hashtag land.